do 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 I do 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 I do 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 Hey guys, today we're making buff bourguignon. As always, we start by preparing our ingredients. First, we're going to slice a white sweet onion. Then we're going to slice a shallot and another shallot. And then we're going to slice a red onion. When that's done, we're going to start slicing our celery. We got about five to six stalks here. Then four carrots. Don't slice them too thin. We still want to recognize them after four hours of cooking. So here we got some mushrooms diced in six. And last but not least, two cloves of garlic chopped coarse. Look at these nice colors. We want nothing but the best for our buff bourguignon. Time to light up our fire starters and a chimney starter full of briquettes. I'm using coconut briquettes here. Time to cut our chuck eye into big chunks. We've got about 1.2 to 1.5 kilograms here. I'm taking some of that hard fat out of the chuck eye and slice it real thin. We're going to use it to render down and use the fat as our baking oil. Place the Dutch oven over the briquettes. Give it some time to heat up and to sear the chuck eye on the outside. When the chuck eye is nice and brown on the outside, take it out of the Dutch oven, throw in the onions and garlic and sweat it down. Add two tablespoons of tomato paste and let it sweat down with the onions. This will make it less sour and more sweet. Place the chuck eye back into the Dutch oven. Add the celery, the carrots, and 700 milliliters of high quality red wine minus a sip for the pit master. Add two cubes of chicken stock. Place the lid on the Dutch oven and put some briquettes on the lid. Let it simmer for about two hours. Meanwhile, slice up some of that homemade bacon which is so ridiculously good. Crispen it up in a pan and add it to your buff bourguignon. Don't forget to add the mushrooms as well. We want to simmer them for a smaller amount of time because otherwise they just disappear. After two hours of simmering, this has turned in the best meal you ever had. Well, as you can see, this stuff looks absolutely amazing. It's just fall apart. It just drops under its own weight. It's fantastic and it tastes amazing. This stuff is so fantastic. You got the beef, you got the vegetables, you got the bacon. It's fantastic. It's really a dream to eat. So um, I hope you don't mind. See you guys next week because I'm hungry. <laughs> Cheers.